Peace family, it's your brother Jay Speaks and I'm back with another video. Now today I want to talk about a crazy story going on in the media pertaining to a truck driver who received over a hundred years for uh, killing four people during a car crash. I believe his brakes failed and to try to stop he went into ongoing traffic and it um, actually killed a couple of people now that's very sad and tough but the craziest thing about it is even though it was an accident he wasn't drunk he wasn't on his phone he wasn't like occupied while this happened he still got 110 years now personally i'd argue a lot of this falls on the company not making sure that their vehicle was intact but you know when it comes to the laws of this world they had their own way of, you know, picking what's what and what's what, what what's that. And I want to talk about mainly Colorado laws because the main reason why he got these 100 years is because he was found on 27 accounts. They tried him on 27 accounts of, um, you know, um, they, they charged him with 27 things. And out of the 27, 16 stuck. So he had to serve that term out consecutively. Consecutively meaning like if he gets five years for this, man, and seven years for that, that's 12. And it just kept adding up. So it got to 110. And even the judge and the families of the victims were like, this is too much. This is crazy. But because of how the law is, he still had to end up facing those charges and that's really unfortunate because you know you can tell from what i've seen in the courtroom that he was really like he wished that they took his life instead of the other people dying he wanted he would rather have traded his life for the other people and he was really sad you know he from what happened and it's just unfortunate but the way our laws are set up and the way this world is set up the brother had to face 100 years and he will be he will have to face those years unless they try to figure out something to where they can get an appeal or even try to get his sentence shorter. But for right now, that's pretty much it. And that's really sad. Like I said, I don't believe that he should get, you know, 100 years for an accident, maybe 5, 10, something like that, because you still have manslaughter. Like, you know, he still killed people. But at the end of the day, it really wasn't his fault. And they say that he made some mistakes, you know, pertaining to what you're supposed to do when your brakes fail. But, I mean, when you're going 70, 80 miles an hour, it's not too much you could do when you got a two th two to five ton vehicle you're managing. So he tried to do whatever he thought was best, and he ended up suffering for that. And now what I really want to talk about is the unity being displaced by the trucking industry. It has been showed in Colorado People, the stores and grocery stores and all these things are starving because truckers are not delivering anything. They are parking and they are going on strike pretending to what happened to this man because honestly, it could have been any one of them. This is not its not a common thing for brakes to go out, but at the same time, it is a common thing. Vehicles have problems. No vehicle is 100% safe, not even if you buy a brand new. So this was an accident. So it could have been any one of them, and they feel that. So you got a lot of these truckers not even coming to Colorado. So this is going to cause a really, really big stir in that state because this is how we get everything. Everything comes in on a truck. You know, you fly it out, you ship it out, but at the end of the day, it's going to end up in the 18-wheeler. So that city and that state or wherever they are is going to be suffering, and it just shows the power of unity. What you can do when a group of people have their minds made up. So they are literally starving out a whole state right now. And it's a sight to see because you don't know how much something is valuable till you lose it. And now they are suffering. Like I said, I don't think that, I think this is a very crazy story because I don't think he should face that those years. But like I said, the world that we live in has been set up on these bogus laws. You done seen... Tons of people, especially white people, kill a couple of people in car accidents and stuff like that. And they get slaps on the wrist. I'm talking about 90 days, 400 days, 
two years type stuff. But this man do this, and they was drunk. You know, I'm talking about drunk texts and all this other stuff, doing stuff they knew they had no business doing, and they still got off. But this man was failed by this, but he wasn't failed. The justice system succeeded in doing what it did. So now he is going to suffer from this, and it's very unfortunate. But that's just the way that the system is. But I believe that the truckers and things like that showing unity and being powerful and going on strike should do something, you know, to help this man out. But, yeah, I just want to talk about that because I thought it was just crazy and sad that this man had, you know, had an accident that turned out like this. But this is also an example of what can be done when we show unity and when we come to a common cause. Because I'm sure nobody, none of, not every trucker know each other, but they know their job. And they know what they have in common. It ain't about their differences and different, you know, religion, race, or any of that stuff. They know they come together in one common cause. And that's just something to think about. But I thank y'all for listening to me. Please like, comment, and subscribe. I'm out. Peace.